We are once again back into the article marketing mini marathon content creation session. It was so nice. I said, let's do it twice. <laughs> this is picking up on the article marketing mini marathon that we had yesterday. This is basically an opportunity to, as a community, create a virtual writer's circle so that you can brainstorm, list out potential written projects that you want to use to boost your marketing efforts, drive traffic to your products and pages, and basically possibly complete some of the written projects that you already have on your plate but you've been meaning to get back to. Whatever the case that it is for you, hopefully you're excited about our content creation session for today. I'm going to quickly recap where we left off just in case this is your first time here. Number one, I wanted you to PYP pick your projects, either 33 or both. What does that mean? What you see here is a few projects that we've been working on inside of the circle, my citizen circle, and I've told mentees, I want you to identify at least one project you can commit to over the, a 30-day period. Medium marketing, number one. So strategically writing on the medium.com platform to build your visibility, credibility, and drive traffic to your offers. Blogging for business, strategically work writing on your website's blog so that you can improve your SEO search engine optimization. Paid newsletters, working on building a free and or paid newsletter to monetize your email list. Brand magazines, creating an LPP low price point offer that you can use for self-promotion or maybe to create some sort of subscription-based virtual experience. Growing with guides, being able to create a free or LPP low price point, low ticket digital guide that you can use either like as a tripwire to generate sales um, or a free lead magnet. The easy ebook challenge, strategically working on a first ebook publication or your next best one based on some of the information that is really, right, I would say, on your heart right now, the things that you really want to share with people, either a digital product print or both or a work in progress. I call this the wild card project because we all are writing different things. So it's possible that what you want to do isn't necessarily what I've shared with you, but you have a work in progress project, and you just want to take this time to commit yourself over 30 days to complete that. Okay? If any of these resonate with you, feel free to check in in the chat, number one. Number two, I also said PYP3. So the ones I gave you are overarching 30-day projects. And when I say 30, I don't mean you start on a Sunday or on a Monday or on the first of the month. I mean you start here. <laughs> you say, for the next 30 days, I'm going to do dot, dot, dot. And to support you, side note, I do have the commit challenge. It is both a challenge and a printable tracker to help you track your progress over the 30-day period over at side note, sistersense.com forward slash commit. So I said 30 is one option, three is another. This, the purpose of this is to be able to carve out a three-hour time block for yourself to focus on your writing projects. So I talked about me being, like, super silly. <laughs> uh, I had, like, my own little dad joke. I said, you know, this is the other writer's block. You know, he was talking about writer's block being stuck. I talked about how you can writer's block in a positive way, block out three hours today in the near future where you strategically work on your writing efforts. So yesterday when we did part one, we literally worked together for an hour. Today's recap, reconnect session is going to be, I would say, anywhere between 60 to 90 minutes going to continue where we left off, but also give you an opportunity to do a few new things, too. So in three hours, you could take that time to list articles you want to write or offers you want to work on, outline your articles. So you don't necessarily have to do everything in the kitchen sink, but you can start somewhere. Light start, 
listing articles and ideas, making outlines. Moving a little bit further into the process, you can even take this time to write new articles, update, revamp, or improve old content. Complete pending projects that are getting there but not quite there yet, release new articles and offers, or my personal favorite, share what you have done with us inside of the circle over at firestarters.sense.com. That's our Firestarter Circle Facebook community. So whatever you choose to do with strategy and intention, my first reminder to you is to identify your 30-day or your three-hour project, okay? Project or projects. So now that we did that quick recap, number one, we are going to go into the writer's block activities that I've shared with you. So I'm not going to go over the first three because these were ones that we did yesterday, okay? Um, what I'm actually going to do is go over to the last of the three, and then we'll go from there to a new one that I have for you today. When it comes to writing your articles, and I mean, again, these could be articles for promoting your content, articles you want to turn into magazine publications or books, a lot of different things, right? You want to work on not focusing on you, but focusing on the people you wish to serve. And at the heart of it, we talked about yesterday that your people want solutions. They want results. They want Number one, speedy solutions. Number two, practical solutions. Number three, proven solutions, right? So let's pick up where we left off with number three and start off with some prompts that can help you start to produce something new or continue intentionally, okay? So when it comes to showing people you've got the goods, how can you help them by presenting proven solutions. Let's talk about these three writing prompts. Identify at least one of these that would be a good fit for you. The first one is my personal favorite. This one thing helped me fill in the blank. So they want proof. I always say that you are your best testimonial, what you've been able to do for yourself. And let me say this, before I move forward with that statement, those of you who are hypercritical and judge, please know that your current situation is not your final destination. Why do I say that? Some people feel imposter syndrome, and sometimes they'll go, I'm not where I want to be right now, so I don't feel confident or like I have the uh, right or authority to talk about dot, dot, dot. Where you are right now does not take away from what you know in your brain your 5, 10, 15 plus years of experience. Where you are right now does not take away from the amazing things you've been able to accomplish for yourself and or others in the past. This may not resonate with everybody, but for the somebody that it does, your current situation is not your final destination. This one thing helped me fill in the blank. What is that thing that helped you accomplish something amazing transformational for you that can help other people you wish to serve. Prompt number one. Number two, the easy excerpts activity. We have written or contributed to publications in which we shared our proven recommendations. So as opposed to writing from scratch, it's possible that you can pull an excerpt from a book, anthology, magazine, guide, that you were a part of either because you published it or participated in a publication, right? You know, I know that resonates for quite a few. Sometimes people either have these things and it's been a while, so they need to go back and, you know, they're sitting there collecting dust, right? Go back and proactively promote those things. Or even though you did it, great, you can go back to it and share it because not everybody knows about it. I love to remind people that the Bible is the greatest story ever told and that it is super old, right? It's the old of old. If the Bible is still a bestseller, touching hearts, 
If we go back to the Bible every weekend, every day, every morning for clarity, they can go back to what you have put out there too. Somebody needs to hear this because sometimes we create stuff and then we go, well, I already talked about that to the exhaustion. Nobody needs to hear that anymore. Oh, yeah, I did that, but I did that like 10 years ago. Um, you got some stuff that you can pull out of and share. Last one here, story time. How you, how a client, or how a noteworthy person was able to accomplish fill in the blank. Again, the idea here is that people are looking for proven solutions. Either you've put them in some sort of a publication already, or you can use yourself, a client, or a noteworthy person's case study as proof of what is possible. So the first thing that we're going to do is take a quick five-minute time block for you to work on coming up with ideas or outlining one of these ideas. Now, hopefully something here is sparking something in you. And if so, feel free to drop into the chat and let me know what that is for you, right? But if you find that you've got to ask a question because you're feeling stuck, ask. Those of you who are live, drop it in the chat, unmute yourself. That's why I'm here. That's why we're live. So if something is here that you're thinking about but you're not quite clear about, ask. And then number two, I like to say if you can't ask me, ask ChatGPT. One of the things that we did in yesterday's session was go into the ChatGPT AI platform and ask for assistance. You can prime the prompt, give it a little bit of information about you, what you're trying to do, who you're trying to serve, and ask it for ideas, ask it for an outline, even ask it for a script, actual written content that you can then go in, proofread, and improve. Okay? You can optimize to really make it your own in your own voice with all the things that the chat GPT just simply does not know because they're not you. They don't have all the experience that you have, right? So just using it for foundational con content outlines or initial ideas that you can use to springboard your vision forward, okay? So first, check in with me. Let me know if this writer's block activity makes sense. Do you see one of these prompts that jump out to you, number one? Number two, let's pause five minutes to work on this. And if you do want to check in with me or check in with ChatGPT, now's the time to do that, okay? So I'm going to be here, but I'm going to be quiet. Writer's block, power pause, number one. Check in with me. Hopefully something here stood out to you and you've started the process of writing your ideas down, hopefully in a notebook or a Google Doc, like I said, uh, you know, I wish I could, I don't know if it's telekinetic or telepathic, I wish I could see what you guys are doing or visually in my mind see what's going on, but I can't. So <laughs> check in with the chat um, and let me know what's going on with you, what you're coming up with, number one. Number two, uh, I'm visual, so just kind of kicking off the conversation, sharing some examples with you that can help to move forward uh, the conversation as far as inspiration. The first one, like I said, is my favorite. This one thing helped me fill in the blank, right? When I think about that statement, I can say this. There is one thing that helped me go from pregnant, broke, unemployed mom to established woman entrepreneur. That one thing, I ain't going to go into it today because even though it's Sunday, I ain't going to go into my soapbox, but digital self-publishing. I quit my job when I was just a few months pregnant, was broke, <laughs> was living in Brooklyn, and when I tell you if everything could go wrong, it did go wrong, right? And I had no idea what I was doing. I was in my 20s, right? Um, and one of my favorite places to go was Barnes & Nobles and literally sit on the floor because... If you were lucky to get a chair or a table, God bless you. <laughs> but sit there and research and figure out what I was going to go into. And self-publishing was that vehicle for me. I've been self-publishing for years, and I can sit home, work at home, make money, and do all the things, right? And so, 
I love to talk about the fact that books build businesses, and I love to teach people how to create digital products and print products because that helps me. It helped me to gain control of my life, to make money, and to do that on a consistent basis, right? Um, I want you to think about, if you want people to go, yep, she knows what she knows, I need her, you have to prove it to them. You have to be able to show them in some way, shape, or form, right? And I always talk about that um, Cheer Club for Men commercial when the guy is like, I'm not only the president, I'm actually a customer, right? And he pulls off his whatever. Either he pulls off the toupee or we realize, I don't know if it's a toupee, but we realize in the commercial that he was bald too, but now you can't tell because he actually is in the program that he promotes, right? You are, for some people, the epitome of what they're trying to accomplish for themselves. And it's funny because when I talk about digital self-publishing, um, yesterday I launched the Writer's Hub. I don't know how many of you saw the Writer's Hub or have access to it, um, but it is this huge library of digital self-publishing resources that I've created as part of my new Monetize Now program. And I wasn't in a place to get there, here where I am now, without first starting out, figuring out how I'm going to do this, knowing that I loved writing when I was in my 20s, and getting to a point where I could monetize that on a sustainable basis. So I want you to really tap into what are those things that you for yourself were trying to accomplish, what are those results, even to the smallest minute thing, because sometimes a very specific small thing is the only thing that people really want, that you, your clients, note people, noteworthy people were able to accomplish, and you could break that thing all the way down for somebody who needs to hear that, okay? So that is writer's block number one set of prompts. Let's go into set number two, okay? I'm going to give you some time to do a few things today, but first I kind of want to go through the prompts with you, okay? Uh, and like I said, as I go through these prompts, anything resonates and or comes up for you, definitely let me know. I see the, chat, the comment here, I'm definitely hypercritical. <laughs> Trust me, I know that is something that it's hard to break, but hy being hypercritical is not going to help you. I think that for me, one of my superpowers is eternal optimism. Like even when things go really, really bad, I can <laughs> kind of find a way to be optimistic about it, number one. And number two, um, not genuinely caring what people think. Because sometimes I can go back and look at some stuff and go, how, why, who put that out? Like, why would I even put that out and cringe? But at the time, I was like, listen, they ain't paying my bills. I'm putting it out. Like, I don't struggle with the hypercriticism that some people do. And I know it can be very difficult to move forward if that is an issue for you. But I do want to say this, right? At the end of the day, when it comes to being hypercritical, it's not going to help you in no way, shape, or form. You know, constructive criticism is one thing. Hypercriticism is a whole other ballgame. It is not going to help you, especially if you internally keep coming back to this thing, these things that you really want to accomplish, the something new that you want to do, but the hypercriticisms are stopping you, right? Remember, nothing changes if nothing changes. So if you're constantly in a place where you do want something new, but you keep stopping you because the over hypercriticism is kind of preventing you to actually sharing it, full-fledged going for it, just stop. Stop. Close your eyes. Cringe. <laughs> Trust me, I know the cringe, right? You go, oh, I really don't want to, right, that perfectionism. It's like, uh, It's got to improve over time. It's got to be tested. It's got to evolve. And none of those things can happen if that hyper-criticism blocks where you want to be, okay? Like I said, it's Sunday, so 
you're going to find me get on that soapbox every now and again, just for a little minute. <laughs> just for a little minute. I totally know and get that hypercritical behavior thoughts keep you frozen. It doesn't help in any way because you criticize every, absolutely, you criticize everything and end up doing nothing, right? Or at least not as much as you would like to. I, I shouldn't say nothing because sometimes we do, do, but then even in those spaces, we're like, eh, I feel like I didn't do enough. <laughs> we criticize even the, the act of what we do do. Let's see. For the article inspiration, I have three ideas that I need to finish and publish before end of month. Okay, good. I love that, Antoinette, because you are right now being very clear in one respect as far as what you need to do, how many items are on the list, and when you want to accomplish it, right? You want to be able to work on three specific articles by the end of the month, or rather before the end of the month. Okay, good. So keep on working on, as we go through these writer's um, block activities today, uh, and hopefully these resonate with you. If not, definitely check out the replay from yesterday because there are more writing prompts that you can tap into, okay? Um, like I said, proof, very important. Practical, another. We're looking for practical solutions because let's just be honest, we have so much going in on in our lives. It's hard to imagine other people whose lives are on absolute overload. It's hard to imagine when we're in spaces where one day we were used to one thing and then another day we wake up and everything is completely different. I was watching this movie and, man, I wish I could remember – the name of it, and they talk about, like, can you imagine remembering that day? Well, obviously you didn't know that was the last day of dot, 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 because after that day, everything else changed, right? And for so many of us, we're in spaces like that, right, where we're like, we can't go back. We have to deal with this new normal, Right? I know for all of us, post-COVID, that's one. But there are all these other mini ones or major ones. And we're trying to figure out how to get to the other side. COVID, number one for me. Number two, being on the other side of 40. I mean, pre-menopause. I mean, going to the doctor like the doctor is my new best friend. I mean, just why does my body feel like this? Why is it hot and cold simultaneously? Help me. <laughs> it's like just. A lot of different things, right? I say that to say that we have to remind ourselves that there isn't simply this overly technical, scientific magic bullet to coming up with a solution that is just magically going to sell to people, that all of a sudden we're going to become the perfect um, sellers and everybody's going to get what we want to them to get and then buy it. Folks are going through their own mess. Folks are going through their own, I didn't know that was the last day my life was going to be X because now my life is Y, and I'm trying to just keep my head afloat. With that in mind, it's so important to not just talk about what you can do for people, but give them the proof, give them practical solutions that they can implement. Because when we talk about relationship building, to be honest with you, a lot of the relationships that I've been able to build in my pajamas, in my house, or sitting on my porch come from the fact that I consistently offer people practical solutions. And whether they pay, they pay like something or nothing for them, as they go through those experiences, they convert into long-term clients and customers. That might be pr uh, true of quite a few of you, right? being in places where even when you didn't have it, you came on, you experienced something for, with me that was either free or practically free, and that consistency of me showing up and offering proven solutions created a relationship that has stood the test of time. So when it comes to your audience, I need you to remind yourself that you're not just going to be able to create the perfect Instagram post or the perfect web page or the perfect product 
and because you're so tired and don't want to promote, because trust me, we all have that feeling, if I just make the perfect image, they'll all just buy it and I won't have to put a lot of effort into it. If you're looking for more effort but with ease, you please through proof and practical solutions. Somebody needs to write that down. How good are you at showing people practical ways, proven ways to do things? If you could do that, that takes care of most of the overwhelm of trying to convince them that you have what they need. It took me a little bit longer to say that, but there's a lot of that I needed to say in that, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? So with that point being made, if you want to offer people something that's practical and proven, here are three prompts to consider. The first one here is fill in the blank, three-point plan. Now, I can be an overgiver. I can be that girl that really and truly will give you everything in the kitchen sink, like for real. Now, as a matter of fact, I said to you that I have the writer's resource hub, right? The writer's resource hub, its foundation is nine pieces of content. It, it might as well be 90 because it just keeps getting bigger. Like, no, no exaggeration. Where is this thing? Um, this is the Monetize Now program. Okay, so the Writer's Resources Hub, right? It just templates, boot camps, challenges, guides, calendars, marketing plans, book a week, book a week, book a day, book an hour. Just <laughs> it's like how many book a trainings are you going to do, Lashonda? Book projects, build a bookstore, copy that converts, places to post, Blogging, challenge, book summit, print your profits. And mind you, there are, I think, three more sections that I didn't even put in here that will be in here very shortly. I love to do that, but at the same time, you can't necessarily present that to the average person because you will overwhelm them. So in order to get people's attention and strategically hook them, you want to start off with little bite-sized pieces that they can manage, right? So three points plan, or the only one thing, right? The only fill-in-the-blank you need to fill-in-the-blank. Now, it may be where it has to be broken down a little bit deeper at some point, but we, can we simplify it for them at this point to make it more palatable for them? and attractive, because to be honest with you, like I said, I just spent like, what, five minutes talking about the fact that for a lot of us, we are now, just like our children transition through so many different phases of their life, we are now transitioning and we're in another season and we still trying to, it's like you, you wish that you get to the point where you stop having to figure it out and navigate chaos and then you find yourself in a whole other set of chaos, because that's just life. That's just life. Our people are going through the same thing. So if you want to catch them, convert them, create compelling things for them, who needs to simplify something so that it reaches the right someone's? Three-point plan, number one. Or number two, the only fill-in-the-blank you need to fill-in-the-blank. Right? I have a, a book. Well, it's more of a guide because it's not like a, like a traditional book. And it's called Three Essential Web Pages. And I wrote that. It's actually in the Writer's Hub, right? I wrote that because as a web designer, I work with a lot of entrepreneurs, and they're like, oh, my God, first of all, I can't afford a huge website. I don't have enough content for a huge website. What can I create right now? Or what is budget friend? I'm like, listen, of all the things, here are three pages that you absolutely need that you can actually create today, okay? Three essential ones. Start them off with something, okay? These are proven pages, and you can make money without a website, to be honest with you. That's another training that's in there, how to, you know, sell without a website, right? I used X to Y. Here's how 
I did it. So, for example, um, there are several offers, key offers that I've been working on. Uh, Monetize Now, number one, the Writer's Hub, number two, and I've created a few different templates in Canva. I always say Canva. Creating templates is my love language. So I could do an article how I used Canva to build a – I used Canva to build a five-page website. Here's how I did it. You understand what I'm saying? Like you want – People want to get a result, and oftentimes they want to get your results, right? You know, my hair is like <coughs> down my back. They want to know how they can create something very similar to what you've done. And if you can offer them some sort of a pr practical path to that point, they love you for free, okay? So let's work on these writing prompts, just as I did before. I'm going to give you five-minute power pause to brainstorm, to make a list, to even start outlining. And in that time, you can ask me and or chat GPT for ideas and assistance, okay? And then we're going to go on to another thing that I want to do with you, but these writing blocks kind of give you um, an opportunity to participate in some of the content creation pieces that we did yesterday. Okay, power pause now. We'll come back in five minutes. All right now. So hopefully that writer's block number four power pause helped you to, again, get a little bit more quiet time, right? Um, we could do longer blocks, but I think it would be more effective if for today for us to focus on the short ones. So that's going to give you time to, number one, then quietly set aside time to do longer blocks on your own or some of you do have one-on-one -on -one time with me, you can schedule calls with me and we can do some of these things together, okay? So just like before, if things are coming up for you, feel free to drop those into the chat so I can see that, number one. Number two, as I just mentioned to you in my Sunday circle kind of a way, um, you know, we going through a lot. <laughs> Folks out here going through a lot in some kind of way. So if you do want to support people, encourage people, offer proof, offer solutions, and convert, one way to do that is to try to keep your solutions on the low end as far as how much you share in the introduction phase to kind of help people see what they can do now, give them bite-sized things they can accomplish now, and move forward. That also helps you because, of course, if you've got 20 things you're trying to do and you can't get through all 20, you're never going to get to release and full forward do and share all the stuff you want to put out there because you're like, oh, but this isn't done, this isn't done, this isn't done. At some point, baby, you got to just launch, right? Uh, and I say that to you, but I say that to me too because, like I said, um, as opposed to me waiting until all the pieces of Monetize Now were perfectly put together, I'm like, listen, I'm going to build it, and those who want to get access to it now as I build it out can be a part of it, Right. Um, that motivates me, that helps me because I get people inside of it being able to, um, you know, actually help me through the production process. You telling me what you need helps me make it better for me and for you, right? So when you think about numbers, so far I've said to you one thing or three things. We're going to talk about five things. How can you do this in a way that is, Helpful on two levels. Number one, if you have a lot that you're trying to put out and a lot that you're trying to accomplish, can you identify a short list of what's practical and realistic for you right now? And then taking it a step further, so as to not overwhelm but actually entice people with an easy starter solution, can you identify a one thing, a three thing, or maybe even a five-part thing that would be a good introductory, introductory article and or offer for your ideal people today. Now, what I'm going to do is take you back into the Give Them Five project that we worked on yesterday. Uh, before I get there, let me go here and show you a couple of things inside of the hubs 
that I think are really, really good examples of what I'm trying to say. I'm a visual girl, uh, so I think visuals do help, uh, and I want to be able to share a few of those with you. So let me, let me do, I'm trying to remember the link. Um, okay, I, I've got two. The other link I can't figure it out in my brain right now. Oh, okay, I think I have it. <clears throat> I think I actually have it. Okay, so um, I mentioned to you there are several projects and things that I've been working on, right? Um, one of them is my PLR Profits program. So literally clients can have me build out this template hub for them. I have my own portals. I'm building out template hubs for clients who want to become a Sysasense reseller of sorts and have a set of templates that they can sell to their people. But they're not having to build them from scratch. They just sell my templates as another offer, right? I have so many templates, as you guys know, like well over 100. At this point, probably close to 300, honestly. And sifting through them, picking out the best ones, it's like a whole process for me, right? Creating this, I struggled with the simplest way to do it. So number one, I focused on words that start with P. And number two, I focused on the number three. What does that mean? So the base template hub has three categories, products, publications, and promos. And somebody who has the template hub and wants to sell it, they can basically have three sets of templates to help people create digital products, to help people create online promotions, and to help people self-publish their own print products as well. So just three sections, right? That's hard. <laughs> That's hard for me as an over-deliverer. <laughs> so it took a long time to work on that simplicity. I'm telling you, it helps, though, right? So being able to identify one thing or three things, maybe five, it may take you a little bit of time to do that on your own, or even with me, maybe ChatGPT, but there are clients who they got me, so they know me, and I can over-deliver to the cows come home. We're already besties. But creating things that can help as starter initial, can you simplify the process for you? Because number one, I don't have to give people 100 plus products in this template. I can start them off with three categories. Um, I think the base template has the base hub has nine templates in there, and then this one is. 30, because it's five sets with six in each, so it's 30. Um, it goes from printables. It also has printables and pages, all Canva templates, right? So starting off with something that is number one simplified, whether it's an article or an offer, you want to make that something that is, uh, what's the word I, I like to use, um, palatable. Like, it's not too much for them to take in all at once, but also for you to produce. Because one of the things that stops me sometimes from launching in a timely manner is I'm like, ooh, let me put this in. Ooh, let me put this in. Ooh, let me put And it just gets so big. And then I'm like, ooh, girl, I don't got time for all this. <laughs> and either you lose interest or it just becomes really, really overwhelming. So I want you to think about the one, two, I'm sorry, the one, three, five of it all and how you can simplify your articles or offers to make them attractive or easier for you to complete with those numbers in mind, right? Now, yesterday we talked about the Give Them Five project, and I came up with this idea, and I was like, oh, my God, this is so great. It was a Give Them Five project. I'm going to recap it so that can help motivate you. So the Writer's Resource Hub, right, this is this thing that I've put together. Um, I don't even know how many sections it has now. It's crazy. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's got eight sections in here. Um, by the end of the day, it will have two more sections. So that is, what, 10? 
and 10 times 3 per row, that's 30. So it's going to have 30 sections in here, a combination of templates, trainings, and tools by the end of the day. And there's more that I want to add to it, but I've got to stop somewhere, right? So <laughs> those are the 30 sections in the hub right now. Yesterday, I wanted to talk about how to give people five things, and I worked on, let's go back over here, five free resources that I already have but are for writers. So I said, okay, free ebook, free challenge, free planner, free replays from this training I'm doing this weekend, plus a new free content plan, and that is going to be a mini bundle, free, absolutely free. And then using that, I can say, hey, by the way, if you like these resources as an author, as a writer, here, tap into the hub. The hub has like now, it goes 30 plus. <laughs> the hub has 30 plus resources for writers. Let's start with these five and you get them absolutely free. These, by the way, are all sample size, right? So giving someone something, can you give them a one solution, a three point, or can you identify a five, the give them five project, right? Um, I also mentioned yesterday that I created many of these freebies at different times. Some of you do have things that you can repurpose and in one way, shape, or form combine them, but you're not thinking out of the box, right? You've got stuff that you're sitting on, challenges, books, worksheets, things you've already done, webinars, and it's sitting there. Now, I just showed you my hub, my library, right? Think of it as like a bundle of sorts, right? Um, or being able to put together or combine some of your free resources. Several entrepreneurs have different freebies with different landing pages, and some of us combine them into like just sign up for this and I'll give you a little library of dot, dot, dot. That might be something that you want to do that can help them but can also help you too. So yesterday when I talked about the Give Them Five project, we were working on an article or maybe a series of articles where in every article you give them five things. Definitely go back and watch that replay. It's good. It's this but specific to writing articles, right? Today, when I talk about the Give Them Five project, I'm talking about it from two perspectives. Number one, keeping the numbers on the low end for them and for you too, one, three, or five. Number two, not just thinking about articles but offers, whether it's a free offer or a paid offer, how you can create some sort of value-packed bundle that gives people a taste of what you have, a starting point. So I don't necessarily have to say, oh, my God, get this thing. It's got 30 things in here. It's got this, it's got this. this. Say, here, just get this. We're going, here's, here's where we're going to start. You like to write, right? You want to monetize your stuff. You want to work on monetizing your writing as an author online. Here are five ways to do that. Absolutely free. You want a little bit more? Here. Go here. Transition. So that is the Give Them Five project in another way. And I want you to be able to kind of think about those resources and things that you've already put together. Are you maximizing your current slash previous content enough? And again, if you feel that there are things you want to do and put out there, but they are elephantastic and you don't know where to start because you're like, when am I actually going to get all of these pieces finished? Let's strip away at some of those things to create a realistic thing, something that's manageable for you to complete within the next month or within the next quarter, okay? Hopefully that helps in some way. Um, for those of you who are here uh, and you are looking to get better at figuring out what you want to put out there and how you're going to be strategic and intentional, right? This conversation also is about connections because if the – they all are connected. So Monetize Now includes the Writer's Hub, right? The Writer's Hub includes the five free resources. So I'm reverse engineering it to be able to give people a little bit for free 
and then say, hey, you want the writer's hub, and then say, hey, you want the, all the things? Go here, like building blocks. So you kind of want to reverse engineer for yourself what's the smallest thing that they can start with and what ultimately you want them to get up to or into. That's how, to me, content marketing makes the most sense and the most money. Being able to take people through free offers to low price point offers to high ticket price point offers, giving them little pieces to larger pieces along the way. Okay? Any ideas and or questions coming up for you, definitely take this opportunity to uh, check in with me. You can go to the chat, um, ask a question, unmute yourself, all the things. Uh, we are about to wrap up for today. There are a few things that I want you to do and a few things that, as I wrap up, I want to share with you, okay? So number one, um, you should have access to yesterday. If you missed it, you can go back and watch those and or what we did today. Take some time, whether it be today or in the next couple of days, to work on your writing. If you don't have the time to write full-fledged articles and or build out a new offer, at the very least, you can start with the light list, right? The light list of just simply getting started by listing out your ideas, listing out your articles, and working on initial outlines. I know for me, when I don't have the time to do all the things, at least I can start with that thing. List, ideas, outlines, number one. Number two, I also mentioned to you quite a few resources that I've been working on, and I want to make sure you have the opportunity to review them if you are interested. The Writer's Hub, definitely essential because it's got so many goodies in there. Like I said, by the end of the day, it's going to have 30 pieces, trainings, templates, and tools for my author, entrepreneur, friends. Um, the easy ebook template, magazine template, the newsletter, the newsletter template, I just finished that 12-week series like maybe two weeks ago, right? Um, how to create your own guides. We literally this past week did a training on how to grow with guides, creating digital guides either for free or as a low price point offer. The 20-minute plan, the blog calendar, brand mag boot camp, write like a boss, print your profits. Um, there's a lot inside of the Writer's Hub. Uh, if you are curious about what that looks like and or what the Monetize Now program looks like, um, most of those resources you can find here by going over to sistersense.com forward slash programs. Um, you'll get kind of a breakdown of the core programs, which is Monetize Now is everything. So you don't have to pick any of these core four. You just get all of it, right? Uh, but the individual pieces is the position to profit program that focuses on how can you work on your monetization efforts, making money now and consistently. Print Your Profits focuses on materials like physical content that you can produce. PLR Profits really is about maximizing your ability to work on monetizing but not necessarily having to build from scratch, and then Profits Plus is more. <laughs> it's like all the extra stuff that I have when it comes to working on sales, customer acquisition, content creation, productivity, motivation, everything else is in the Profits Plus portal, right, um, including the Writer's Hub that I just shared with you. So uh, you can just simply go over to usesense.com forward slash programs if you're curious about these um, and or if you have any questions for me. Okay. So for now, feel free, by the way, to any final questions or comments, drop those into the chat as we wrap up. But the key for me is in this session, you have some practical start solutions to work on your writing because you getting better at write, writing and or putting more of your writing content out there is going to help you reach more people, number one. Like I said, publishing changed my life. <laughs> Being able to publish content free and or paid, that's pretty much what I do every single month, and that's how I'm able to work at home, right? So working on your written projects, number one, 
checking in with me if you need support and or clarity, number two. And of course, taking a look at the Monetize Now program if that is of interest to you, specifically when it comes to getting position to profit, perhaps printing your profits, making PLR profits, or exploring all the more that I want you to explore when it comes to tapping into your profit potential as part of the Monetize Now experience, okay? So I'm just going to wrap up, check the chat, see if you guys have any questions for me, uh, number one. And like I said, number two, um, these pop-up content creation sessions, definitely something that I enjoy doing. Um, so whether you're live or on the replay side, if there are different content creation conversations that you would like to see and or have me create for the community, uh, definitely give me some feedback and insight, and I'll do my best to do that. Wow. I love it. Liana says, I've done more this morning than I have done in the past three months. Thank you for the kickstart, literally. OMG. If that is not a great way to end it today, that is absolutely, absolutely awesome. Um, you know, Sunday is a day to do a lot of quiet things or prep things for the new week. Um, so outside of what I'm doing for myself and or for my family, y'all are my extended family. So it's definitely been an honor and a privilege to take this time and check in with you. I always say, as I check in with you, definitely feel free to check in with me. Email me, number one, or when you're on the SusanSense.com website, click the gray tab on the right to send me a voice message. For a reminder, if you haven't already done so, done so take some time to send me a progress report so I know what's going on with you, and I can support you as best as I can to help you move forward with momentum. All righty, my dears, that is it for today. Till next time, take care. Mwah.